old bakers. When I was young, I used to love making hot chocolate from hot chocolate powder, but I had no idea you could actually make your own. It is really simple. All you have to do is mix a few ingredients together. So here I've got a big bowl lined with a sieve and we are going to add in some cocoa powder. Now please use good quality, rich cocoa powder and also unsweetened so it doesn't contain any sugar. Next, we're gonna add in some sugar to give sweetness to our hot chocolate. You can use any kind of sugar that you like to use in your diet. On top of our sugar, I'm gonna add in some cornstarch or corn flour. Now this actually thickens your hot chocolate and makes it lovely and rich. If you leave that out, your hot chocolate just won't be as thick. So our next ingredient is dried milk powder. Now this is an important ingredient and it is widely available in most supermarkets. It's inexpensive and I'm also gonna put a link on biggerbolderbaking.com of where you can buy it. And then all you want to do is just sift these ingredients together well. I wish I'd known growing up that you can actually make this rather than buying that uh, Cadbury's one that I grew up with in the purple container, even though it did taste good. Then what you want to do is just whisk it all together to make sure that the cornstarch, all the sugar, everything is really well mixed up. There you go. Once you're finished mixing, I have an airtight container here and I'm just going to fill it up with my hot chocolate mix. Because we're heading into the holidays now and it's the season of giving, this would make a great holiday gift for somebody. Get them their own little mug, hot chocolate powder, marshmallows, it would be adorable. So once it's in there, snap on your lid. So another great thing about this hot chocolate powder is that it lasts in an airtight container for up to eight months. Now we've made our hot chocolate powder, but how do we turn this into hot chocolate? I'm going to show you how. In a heavy bottom saucepan, add in your milk and hot chocolate powder and then whisk it all together. Let this mix come to a simmer and thicken. Then turn off your heat and pour it into your mug. And then sprinkle mini marshmallows on top. I hope you enjoyed this bowl baking basic. I have lots more videos just like this, so make sure you go check them out. And if you haven't already done so, tap that subscribe button.